Financial Hip Festival 2023. E wahine toa o te kaupapa nei tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, a tēnā tātou katoa. Uh, my name is Doug Edwards. I am the Te Pautu Matanui uh, of Te Tahu Haumura, Health Quality and Safety Commission in Wellington. And very proud and honoured to be able to present at this wonderful um, symposium and specifically on a kaupapa, on a to topic that uh, affects our people. E waka eke noa, we are on this canoe together, no exceptions. And that whakatauki uh, goes very well uh, with this kaupapa of hip fractures, and um, particularly around collaboration and mahitahi. Mahitahi, of course, in my language means let's work together. Collaboration and mahitahi firstly involves the patient, the haura, or in this case, uh, more specifically, our elderly people we call kaumatua. Um, and they range from 62 years old upwards. And underneath the word kaumatua, you may have, you may see the two words unseen diseases very important in terms of our clinicians um, who are caring for our people to know about these different types of diseases that they do not otherwise see. And I'll explain that in a minute. And along with the patient, the haura, um, very important part of that uh, collaboration is of course the family and whānau. Now the family and whānau support is important um, they become the advocates uh, for their um, grandfather, grandmother, father, mother. And it's important that they are there to be the voice of our old people. You'll notice too that in terms of providing health care for our, for our pomatua, whether it's in um, in a, in a GP office, in a physiotherapist office, in a hospital. One of the things that family support do offer is that 24-7 care. 24-7 care it means exactly that. So you have Fano within the hospital space who have a nice comfortable chair to sit on and who look after the well-being um, of our whānau who are in hospital. Now they're very important um, because they know how their grandparents, their mother, uh, their father picks and they can offer the support that our nurses and GPs may not otherwise offer. Hence the unseen diseases. Unseen diseases are things like their spiritual health and well-being. Those types of um, uh, factors uh, that, that is unseen by the clinical eye. And here's the importance of family whānau who know exactly what that means. Uh, spiritual health and well-being uh, plays a big role in the health and care of our kaumātua uh, because our family can offer 
karaki, which is prayer, a fair making offer, wayata, which is singing and songs, our family can offer love and care. Um, that is very familiar uh, to our komatu who are lying in that bed. So as you see, those unseen diseases become very important in the health and well-being of our of our komatu, um, who are going through uh, assessment and treatment of care for. Um, hip fractures um, that they have accumulated over time and it now has come to a head. Non-governmental organisations, NGOs, we do have those in New Zealand and the most important uh, component of NGOs in New Zealand are the, the services of our iwi and Māori health providers. Um, now, our iwi and Māori health providers offer things like rongoa Māori. Rongoa Māori is uh, aspects of haumora that only our people and only the environment can offer to our kaumātua who are going through a care and treatment, specifically in this case around hip fractures. So rongoa Māori can range from a range of um, ointments made from uh, native leaves, can range from um, a special type of midi-bidi, which is a massage that our people can offer. And it's also about enabling uh, the work that we do as whānau and being able to take our kaumātua to things like to the beach, to the forest, all of those places um, that provide that the rongoa Māori, that healing. Um, iwi and Māori health providers also are essential and important, especially as part of the discharge plan uh, from secondary services. From hospitals. You have your primary health care services. So you have your GPs, your pharmacies, hearing tests, eye tests. Um, what that means to our old people and our whanau is how can we access those services to get the right treatment and care and assessment um, evaluations um, that can help our kaumātua heal. Access means a lot of things. Um, as you will find um, in New Zealand, our Māori people are middle class. Some are in the poverty area where financial assistance becomes a real struggle. So along with that, Different types of communication by phone becomes a struggle. Transportation to the GP, pharmacies, to hospitals becomes a struggle. So what can we do as a whānau and secondary primary health NGOs? How can we assist our kaumātua and to enable them to get the right kind of access to the services to enable them to have a good journey and experience in terms of their health and lobby. Allied health services, usually a forgotten space in a lot of uh, the areas to do with health and care treatment for our people. So access again to physiotherapists, access again to disability services um, for things that are as simple as um, walking aids, um, motor, um, motor peds, those types of things where um, movement and mobility for our people become easier. And again, access to physiotherapists 
um, is another form of access. That becomes a big struggle in terms of our people coming up with the means and the ways and the finance to be able for that access to happen. So lots of things have to be considered uh, by our whānau support group in terms of, okay, what do we need to be able to access that and who can we go and ask to help and support us. Secondary healthcare services, a uh, big area of a concern for our elderly people, um, our Māori whānau um, as stakeholders and as patients going into the secondary healthcare services. Again, it's all to do about access. Um, starting from the simplest form of access, and that's um, um, getting appointments uh, made and getting appointments met. Uh, you'll invariably find that a lot of our whanau, especially our kaumātua, will have DNA, DNA, did not attend, did not attend by the appointed uh, bookings and that. Why? Again, uh, we're not looking at uh, the whānau as a whole and holistically in terms of, okay, are we asking the question, do they have the finance to be able to um, get themselves to the hospital? Do they have the communication means to be able to communicate uh, back to our hospitals to say, um, I can't make those appointments? Uh, do they have transport? More invariably or not, access for our people, our kaumātua, our whānau patients is a struggle because of those of those things that we tend to forget uh, when we're working inside a hospital as clinicians. Um, so what I'm really saying is that a, a really good goal for our secondary health services is to take our health services to the people. And that means going to a very isolated rural areas, uh, but also to places where access uh, from homes to hospital is very difficult. In that secondary health uh, care services, uh, it's important again um, that we have working in those spaces Māori whānau care teams. Māori whānau care teams are the voice for our people, our patients, and the main link between our whānau to the services within the hospital. So they can actually break down a lot of the barriers of access of our people into the hospital areas. Simple things like um, taking care of them at their appointment times, making sure they make their appointments. Um, being a guide, a support whānau, um, by walking with our whānau patients to these to the surgery areas and having those types of um, talks uh, with nurses and with doctors and surgeons. And again, once they're in hospital, um, making that link with whānau support group to enable our whānau support group to come in and sit with our patients in the hospital and providing that 24-7, what we call mahitahi care. All the other types of care um, that nurses uh, could do with so that it gives them a hand to do their job really well. Chaplaincy. Um, as I said before, wairua and spiritual health and well-being is important for our kaumātua, our old people, uh, all of our Māori people. All right, so simple things like karakia prayer in the morning, um, before kai, um, before a surgery, after a surgery, are important as it brings um, a good opening um, to the day, as well as a good closure to the day for our kaumātua and our Māori whānau. Again, how do we make that service for our people happen. Access again is important um, in all of these services where we are providing care and health, health and care for our whānau and more particularly to our kaumātua. Uh, 
Um, so with hip and fractures, now all people. Um, it's really essential to that cultural safety, cultural responsiveness is the key to build that relationship between clinicians, Fano, and our Komato patients. And what our Fano can do to enable that to happen is to sit with our Fano during assessments, during those MBTs, uh, during those hui. Uh, where the komatu and where the surgeons and the clinicians are given assessment of our komatu. And what we can provide is a kawa, a protocol that we have as part of our process and the tikanga, the right procedures within those protocols to enable um, a good one-to-one -one collaboration and engagement with Māori in a Māori way. So again, one of the learnings our clinicians and our doctors in primary health services and secondary health services is to be aware of, get to know, um, uh, go to Wānanga and learn te reo Māori learn the cultural values of our Māori people and then to be able to apply what you learn and speak in Māori, what you learn and, and cultural values to the mahi that you do for our people. And that way, um, our kaumata in particular will see if uh, this nurse has made an effort uh, to be able to communicate with me in the way I want to be communicated with me and where I'm culturally safe and I'm happy with how she is taking care of me. So a real big partnership in terms of what the real essence of what cultural safety means. It's keeping your nurses, your doctors safe, as well as your whana, your komatu safe under the paradigm of te ao Māori where there is a kawa, where there is a tikanga, and cultural safety and cultural responsiveness is the essence of our kaumatua to have hip fractures um, to heal in a Māori cultural, te ao Māori way. From all of that, um, what's important again uh, is going out and finding out what Fano consumers want. And physically and literally, it means going out of the service, going out into the community, and finding out what our Fano Māori, our consumers want to enable them to become better, to enable them to access health services. And again, I'm putting in hip fractures there. That intelligence is then uh, collated and analyzed. And from its analysis, uh, we're able to highlight the expectations from whānau and consumers that they expect to see when they access services for a hip fracture. The insights from that, uh, from a Health Quality Safety Commission point of view, is from the expectations, from what, from the findings, how are we going to help address these expectations and make them become tangible uh, for our people. We can do that in one in, in a number of ways. But one way is we will certainly send those recommendations, those expectations from our final consumers uh, directly to the Ministry of Health. 
Health Quality and Safety Commission is commissioned by the Ministry of Health. So that's another way we can uh, collate and communicate with the Ministry in terms of here's what our final consumers need. What can you do for Health Commission and Safety Commission? What can you help our whanau to heal? Um, the impact, the overall impact of that is, of course, um, uh, being a pathway in terms of embedding uh, Te Rija Waitangi, um, the five principle from the Y2575 Haura report, and, of course, addressing equity. Again, a very important uh, Kopapa for the Health Quality and Safety Commission that we are currently working on. For Tafiti Ki to Hiding a Mai, Kia Kore e Haire Tonu, e Nui Rawa o Mahi, Kia Kore e Mahi Tonu. You, we have come too far not to go further. You, we have done too much not to do more. An oreda kia kaha o koutou mahi, ki mui a koutou, an oreda te nga koutou, te nga koutou, a kia ora tātou katoa. Ka kite.